and welcome to my music room. Music is really big in my family and one of my daughters is a really good guitarist and she won't travel anywhere without one of her guitars, which has caused us some problems. Now it's okay on the big scheduled airlines, but on the smaller budget airlines, that's where we ran into trouble. So I thought I'd do a video showing you how you could best travel with your guitar without having to pay huge amounts of money, like paying for a seat for your guitar, which some airlines demand. So I'm gonna first of all shame one particular airline, Ryanair. I bought a family ticket, which entitled us to five checked in bags and five wheelie on bags between our family for one particular flight last summer. And we actually in the event only had two checked in bags and four wheelie bags. So I thought we'll be fine for the guitar because we haven't checked in three bags that we've paid for, three big suitcases that we paid for. But no, when we got to the boarding gate, they stopped my daughter with her guitar and said, you can't take that on board. So I explained, but I have bought three paid checked in bags. Won't this one count? And they said, no, we were going to have to pay. She started off saying you'll have to pay 25 euros, which is about $40. And then the more I argued, she said that'll be 50 euros. She kept putting the price up, which was really, really unprofessional. And by this time I was getting really, really, really angry. And I've got a clip and you can see what happened next. Pay for it? Are you telling Lady, me I have to pay 50 euros? I have paid for five bags. I have paid for five bags and you're not listening to me. Please don't go for it. That lady then put the price up to 100 euros. And you know what? I wanted to refuse and to not take the plane and to have them go to the trouble of taking my checked in cases off the plane. But instead we paid up and we got on the plane because two of my children had important exam results to pick up from school the next day. But it made me hate Ryanair and I would never take a guitar on board one of their planes ever again. The next aeroplane we tried was British Airways. Here's what happened. We felt confident as we waited to board the plane that all would be well. As soon as we got on the plane and looked for our seats, we saw that the overhead bins looked nice and empty. And even though we were happy to use them, an air hostess came up to us and offered to put us into one of the larger wardrobes for us. We do have a wardrobe if you can't. That one's a bit longer, 34. Oh, cool. But to be honest with you, if you put it in first, people are going to want to put their bags in Could you put there. it in the wardrobe? Just pop it on by the door for a minute and we'll see Thank you so much. Top marks, British Airways. And lastly, we flew American Airlines. We were flying back from Miami to London and the overhead bins were all looking very full. So my daughter sought the assistance of an air hostess, wondering if there was a cupboard like on British Airways, and this is what she was told. Hey, so basically I've got a guitar. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there are, there's no cupboards or anything. No, there's just overhead bins back here. Well, we looked and we looked for space in overhead bins, but there was nowhere to fit the guitar. So we decided to see if another air hostess could help. And finally, when she realised that the guitar would not fit into the bin, she miraculously said that there was a cupboard we could put it in. Hallelujah! Put it in. Thank you, American Airlines. Although it did take some persuading for you to help. It never seems to be easy to travel with your guitar, and this is my top tip. So we've learned the hard way that if you want to take your guitar as hand luggage in the airplane, you've got to be careful when it comes to budget airlines. And really the easiest, most surefire thing to do is to just buy a hard case, put the guitar in it, don't take a big checked in luggage, put this in the luggage hold instead and just take a wheelie case on the plane. But of course, what airlines do, which is really irritating, like Ryanair, is they say that the guitar is not like a regular suitcase to check in. It's a funny shape, and therefore that's why you have to pay extra. So read the small print of the irritating airlines. It's worth doing it. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please give me a thumbs up. Happy music, and see you soon. Bye. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.